Mr. Zeki, how can I help you? Got any new goods Zeki. Oh, uh, hey. So this is kind of awkward. You know how I've been helping Najuma with her invention? Well, I asked her the other day why she's so set on this mines things. She's got a bright future ahead of her with her inventions, after all. No reason to be wandering around in the dark. It's a waste of your talents. She wouldn't give me a straight answer, but that's when I remembered where I've seen her design before. It's on... It's one of her mom's prototypes. It was years ago, so I didn't realize at first, but that's definitely a Lita original. You get what I'm saying, right? Kid loses her mom and becomes weirdly obsessed with going into the mines. The mines where she set, lost said mom. Something tells me two things aren't a, these, those two things aren't a coincidence. I had a feeling something was up. You better go talk to her. This is way out of my pay grade. And I don't think she's talking much to her dad either. I'll see you soon, all right? That's true. Survivor's guilt. Um, right, let's go. Gotta talk to a Nijuma while she's in her room, so that means I gotta get my ass over to Bahari Bay before she gets up. Well, technically, is in her. Why isn't this working? Sorry, I was talking to myself again. I wanted to talk to you about the mines. Yeah? I'm super close to finishing this, this the design and then dad will have to let me in. Why are you so obsessed with them? I'm not obsessed. This is my path, you know. I'll be g going into them sooner or later. I'm just worried about you. There's nothing to worry about. I'm not a little kid. Besides, who else is going to help my dad? It's my fault he's struggling so much. What do you mean your fault? If it weren't for me, mom would still be here. Dad wouldn't have to do everything on his own. Why would you say that? Because it's true. When I was five, I ran away in the middle of the night. I don't remember why. Some dumb fight with my mom. I decided to go and live in the mines, but I got lost in the dark. My mom found me a few hours later. That's when the accident happened. The support started crumbling, walls caving in. Mom grabbed me and threw me to safety. A boulder still caught me by my leg, but Mom was trapped behind a rubble. Dad found us, he freed me first, and he spent all night with people from Kilma trying to clear the cave in. By the time they got through, well, sometimes gas builds up in the mines, especially if that there's bad ventilation or a cave in. If she hadn't followed me, if I hadn't run away, it sounds like it was an accident. An accident I caused if I hadn't, hadn't ran in there. That's why I have to do this. With my suit, I'll be safe. I can go deeper into the mines and maybe find some new veins. It's too dangerous for Dad to go, so I will. Thank you for coming to talk to me. It means a lot, but really, I'd better get back to work. Looks like I have to wait. Speaking to Najuma earlier, it kind of made me realize she blames herself completely for her dad's accident. Odari, hi. Can I help you? I need your help. Heard you've been talking to Najuma, which is good, because she sure ain't talking to me. Don't get me wrong, I ain't mad. In fact, I'm glad someone's looking out for her. But that someone should be me. I just, every time I try to talk to her, something goes wrong. I say something wrong and she gets mad and we both just leave upset um 
I'm not sure how I can help. Ain't your job to fix things, but I have an idea. I want to help her with her suit. Say what now? You heard me. I tried playing the stern father. And it got me nowhere. It's time I meet her on her level instead. The problem is I ain't exactly good at all this mechanical stuff. That was Lita and Ujima's thing. So maybe what she needs right now is a little bit of her mom. I've got Lita's old notebook. But it's full of her blueprints. But some of the pages are ripped out. If you can help me find the missing nut ones, well, I know it would mean a lot to Nijuma if we could give her the full set. Any idea where to start? There's a couple spots I knew she used to go and sketch at. Can ask Siki too, if he knows where, where any of them might be. And you might want to check with the Chapas. Once or twice I remember her complaining about them stealing her notebook. I'd better get going. If you find those blueprints, let me know. All right. Be nice to see Najuma smile again. All right, bub. All right, bub. We'll get this. We'll figure it out. She definitely misses her mom and blames herself. She wants to help her dad, so I guess her dad's now finding a way for her to help him. Yeah. Okay. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna do a little housekeeping. I'll be right back. Um. I have mail from Gina. Dear Zoe, so good news and bad news. I heard back from the Wahari Institute and apparently there were records on Sona, Ma, in the vault where Hecla was found. Unfortunately, they were incomplete. I was hoping you could maybe search for the remaining records. Um, records, okay. 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 Let's ask Ziggy if he might know where Alita's missing blueprints might be. Oh, oh hey Alita. Do you have any of Lita's old designs? Mm, I think I've got some lying around here. Got it. We were working on these short range communicators together. Still have the old blueprints. What do you want with them? They're for Najuma. Ah, I see what you're doing here. Smart. Very smart. Here, take them. I'm not going to keep a girl from her birthright after all. Talk to you later. That's one. Um. Hmm. Let's try Bahari Bay. I'll see you guys when I get there. Okay, I wonder where these flags are telling me to go because they're likely Lita's blueprints? Missing blueprints. So we're gonna go and have a look. There. There. Inside the house. Where's the people? Maybe. Where's Bari's room? What are you misplacing? Does it doesn't look like it. Hi, Bari. Uh, you appear out of nowhere. Excuse me. Yes, wait, I hold on, hold on. Um, hmm. Find the house? Here? No. Maybe it's up there. Why won't anybody climb? No, no. Oh, here we go. Propeller, pro, 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 propeller blueprints. That's how you pronounce it, right? Propeller blueprints. Yes, yes. Okay. On to a different part of the map where there are. More flags. More waypoints. This one seems closer. Oh, it's both in that area. Okay. Okay. I know where to go now. Here. Let's check it inside the cave. Ah, here we go. Health records. Health records. Oh. That's Gina. 
Wait, this is where... Echo was found? Huh. Interesting. Let's try it out. Need the fight. It looks like it's in. Rebreather blueprints. There's, there's one more. At the lighthouse. Okay. Um. Oh, there they are. Waterproof lantern blueprint. And there's one more. And I believe according to... Odari, it's a Chapa who has it. So let's go hunting. There's usually a bunch of Chapas on that side. Oh, is that a white Chapa? No blueprint. Okay. Not moving forward at all. Okay. Right, chop the tail. No blueprint yet. Freaking annoying chopper. Got it. Mechanical chopper blueprints. Cool stuff. Probably grab the other cell here. Alright, let's go to Hodari. I even got an Azor chopper tail out of it. Great. Hodari, how do you like the workshop? Can help you with something? I found the blueprints. Thanks. It's time I got something, right? Just hope it ain't too late. Oh, okay. I completed uh, Najuma's level 4 virtual quest. Have a good one. Oh, I have mail. Let's go check mail. Najuma. 
Dear Zoe, my dad told me you helped him find all my mom's old blueprints. I don't know if I really deserve them, but I'll treasure them anyways. I wanted to thank you, so I put one of her designs together and included a copy of the blueprint in case you want to make more. I call this one Chapabot, but I hope you can call him a friend, especially since you've been such a good one to me. Aw, Najuma. Thank you. I have a mechanical chapa. It shall be my greeting companion. You're adorable. Okay. Let's go talk to Gina. I hope this helps. I really hope this helps out Ekla. He's been going through the ringer as of late with her emotional, uh, her oneness not being fulfilled because she never actually got to look after baby Sona, the person she was developed to um, look after. Great, you found the records. This will be a big help. Or it would be if they weren't in Galdoric. I can't ask Hecla to translate because she's giving me the silent treatment. I think it's embarrassing for her that we're helping somehow. I don't know. Galdor emotions can be confusing. Any idea who else might be able to translate this? Anar? Yes, of course! Anar could translate them. Would you mind taking them over for me? I don't think Hecla over here would actually let me go. Oh, okay. Let's go talk to Anar. That's a long way to go, ma'am. But for you, I will go. From one side of town to the other, and back again. This all makes good news. It's in Galdoric. I didn't realize that was a language. I apologize, my audio was really quiet earlier. Hi, Inar. It appears as if someone is speaking to me. How odd. Can you translate these old tablets? Yes, I can. Oh, you were asking me to translate them now? I see. Well, these tablets seem to date back to the late human era. I believe they are the vital static statistics of a prenatal female human who expired before birthing. Do you wish to know more? Yes, what happened? Unfortunately, you will not get your wish. That is all the records say. I am sorry. Oh, okay. Thank you, Aenar. Let's go, um, back to you next. This time I'm teleporting because that is a very long walk. I wonder if Leafrock Hills is closer. In my opinion, probably not the Glad you stopped by. I was wondering how you were doing. And I've translated the records. I can tell from your face it isn't good news. Why don't you talk to Hecla yourself? If I told her, she wouldn't hear me anyway. She's cal calibrated her audio settings so she can't hear the frequency of my voice. Oh. Hey, Hecla. If you have come to tell me of Sona's expiration, I already know. Inar gave me his condolences as soon as he found out. We Galdors can communicate over great distances. I'm sorry. I appreciate your condolences, but they do nothing to alleviate the situation. Sona is still expired. There was nothing you could do. Of course there was nothing I could do. I was not even awakened yet. But still, Gina will expire and I will endure and I don't know if I can handle that. I was not made to outlive my charge. You have to, Regina. You are right. I worry about future pain. While Gina suffers my absence presently, she believes I withdraw from her in anger when it is really fear. I must correct the situation. 
I will allow myself to once again hear Gina's audio frequencies, so we may converse on the subject. Thank you for letting me see the matter clearly. Here, you may take this trinket as thanks. I bought it for Potato Sona, but I do not think she will need it anymore since she is just a potato. Aww, Guardians of the Heart! What did I get? <gasps> I have armor plush. I have armor plush. I have no teleport button. I have ex 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 exhausted my usages of teleportation. I shall find the closest stable to return home and place the most adorable. Ormu plush that I have been wanting for a while. Okay, home. We are slow to load in this household. Ormu plush shall sit. Oh, I need a bed. I need a bed. That's what I need. Wait, maybe I can put Ormu on here. Yes, Ormu plush shall sit there for now. Most adorable Ormu plush. Thank you for joining me. This is Pikazo Plays. See you guys in the next one. Please like and subscribe.